Okay. Ready? So it's getting tight, plugged in. All right. See if we can get a secondary. If you don't know, my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm an electrical instructor here. These guys are, are half of our second year electrical students. The unit that we're just finishing up studying right now out of our National Electric Code Book is uh, hazardous locations. We got three different classifications of hazardous, hazardous locations. The class one is if we have flammable gases or vapors. Class two is, is flammable dusts. And class three is flyings and fibers. And I built this box to represent kind of what we have to do as uh, some special wiring methods when we're working around like grain elevators or a flour mill or, or anywhere that there's, there's dust present. Any dust to a point can, uh, under certain conditions, can be explosive. Um, what we generally wire with around grain elevators and farm places and things like that, um, we have to do special wiring methods if it's an enclosed space, special lighting. We don't want arcs or sparks to, uh, to ignite um, any of that dust because it can be very, very dangerous, as you'll see. What we have here is I got this box. We have a burst panel here. We have a 120-volt cord that I have plugged into a, that's a heat cone that will glow red hot, you know, 5, 10 seconds after we plug it in. And uh, we got an air source. We got a valve, and we'll implement dust into it. What this can represent is a, what we call a choked leg. If you put too much grain on an elevator leg, the belt will start slipping, it'll get really hot. Or if we got a bearing and a motor going bad and it gets red hot, and then you gotta have a lot of things transpire. You gotta have the dust, it's gotta be dry enough, it's gotta be up into the air, atomized properly, and you gotta have an ignition source, things like that. Um, but what we'll show you here is that the first one we're gonna do, our cornstarch seems to work really well. We also have some grain dust, we have some sawdust, we have some flour, we have some powdered sugar, uh, things that you would never consider to be flammable. And the first one we'll do here is this one is just going to represent a flash fire. And you know, if things go properly, we'll, ha we'll have some flames that, that shoot up and out of here. But it, it's not dead on every time because we have to have the proper amount of fuel, proper amount of air to atomize that with your fuel, your, your heat source. You know, and So usually it goes pretty good. And then after we do that once, then we're going to put some wax paper and we're going to seal this in. And you guys will you'll be able to see uh, when it's a sealed uh, explosion what more that does okay you guys want to go ahead and plug it in okay so on, on this side which which you guys can't see I just have a little fitting that we we put the dust into and then when I hit this button here it's gonna it's gonna shoot air through that dust go into the box and my my heat cone is over here on this side so our heat cone is, is red hot ready so we got a flash fire from that shooting in there. You want to go ahead and plug it? Now this is this is cornstarch again. As the first one you've seen, um, you know, is, is a flash fire. Now this is all sealed up. We have this box inside and outside. We've got it all sealed up. There's gaskets on it, so our, our explosion is contained within the box and as safe as possible. Um, yeah, go ahead. The the issue that comes up with this is this is going to hopefully you know blow up pretty good. But then if you have uh, another place. There's a lot more cornstarch sitting, and it shakes and it atomizes that, and then your explosions just keep going and going and going. And, uh, you know, the grain dust explosion, these just a year ago down in Alton, south of here, uh, not even about a half hour, you know, had a grain dust explosion. About a year and a half ago, Sanborn had one. Here's so, test fire, cornstarch like again. So, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and plug it. Okay. All right. Ready? Well, now that's, that's just straight powdered sugar. I mean, I, I literally went to the grocery store last night, bought some powdered sugar. It's right out of the package. Okay. Okay. Ready? Tight. So. Plugged in. All right. See if we can get a secondary. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anybody got any questions? Well, thanks for coming. We're going to clean up now and stuff, so <laughs> see you later.